All right. Well, hello, everyone. This is Michelle with the Building for Kids. Today, I have some special guests with me. Miss Kathleen is from the Appleton Public Library, and Miss Nancy is from the cello section of the Fox Valley Symphony Orchestra. We had hoped to get together at the Building for Kids in March for our Sensory Superstars program, but it just couldn't happen. So we are so glad to have you here today. Oh my gosh. Well, it Ms. is Nancy. great to be here. Wonderful oh, yes. to be here. Thank you so much. Miss Nancy, why don't you tell us about that instrument you were playing? This is a cello. And what's really cool about cello, it's jello with a C. And <laughs> here it is. And I just thought, you see, I save these nuggets for when we're going live, you know, when everybody goes, oh my gosh, what is she doing? She's going off script. Okay, this is a violin. This is a cello. They look kind of similar, not like a bass. A bass is entirely different. We'll talk about it another day and talk about bows and other things. But isn't this cool? The violin is like a really high soprano. <laughs> and the cello is kind of like a low woman's voice or a higher medium man's voice. Isn't that cool? And we pluck the string, but we also use our bow. So during our story time, I'm going to try to make sounds that complement the story, that make the story more fun. Because Kathleen is such a great narrator from Appleton Library. And it's just, I love cello. What can I say? <laughs> oh, I love Fox Valley so Symphony. Well. Oh, it's so great to be with friends. That's wonderful. Hey, Nan, uh, Michelle. Oh, thanks, yeah. Nancy, for playing that cello. It's gorgeous. Oh, but thank you. Um, Michelle, I couldn't help but notice, you know, you introduced Nancy and me, but I think you forgot one of our special oh, guests oh, here. Oh. Who's that peeking there? I am so sorry. Hi, Wombat. This is my Wombat friend. She is from Australia, aren't you? Oh, that couldn't be Mothball, could it? There's a Walk story. The one that I was just reading about you, Mothball, in the book by Jackie French here. And she oh. helped you write your diary. A wow. diary? That's a neat word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a diary is a, a sort of a book where somebody writes about what they've done during the day, or in your case, what they've done at night, because you're a night creature, aren't you? Ooh, that nocturnal. Mm hmm Yes. So what do you say if we read your diary here today? I, I think that sounds great. You think so? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Nancy, yes, please do um, add some lovely embellishments to the telling of Diary of a Wombat by Mothball and Jackie French with pictures by Bruce Watley, published by Harcourt Mifflin. Houghton Harcourt Mifflin. I am a wombat. I live in Australia. As you can see by my picture, I'm a little like a bear, but smaller. I live in a hole in the ground. I come out mostly at night, and during the day, I sleep. I eat grass and roots and the occasional treat. Monday morning slept afternoon slept evening ate grass slept scratched Night, ate grass, slept, Tuesday morning, slept, slept. 
afternoon slept. Evening ate grass. Night ate grass. Decided grass is boring. Scratched. Hard to reach the itchy bit. Slept. Wednesday morning slept. Afternoon, mild, cloudy day. I have new neighbors, oh. humans. Found the perfect dust bath. <laughs> it's right in front of their barbecue, isn't it? I don't want barbecue dust. <laughs> <laughs> Discovered flat, hairy creature invading my territory. Fought major battle with flat, hairy creature. One battle. Neighbors should be pleased. Demanded a reward. Received a carrot. It was delicious. Evening demanded more carrots. No response. Chewed a hole in the door. Eight carrots. Scratched. Went to sleep. Thursday morning. Slept. Afternoon, discovered the perfect scratching post. <laughs> Evening, demanded more carrots. No response. Tried yesterday's hole. Seriously resistant to my paws. Banged on large metal object. Until carrots appeared. Hey, Began new hole in soft dirt. Went to sleep. I think that new hole is in a flower bed, isn't it? Friday morning. 
slept. <laughs> Afternoon. Discovered new scratching posts. Also discovered new source of carrots. Looks like a grocery bag. Evening. <gasps> Someone has filled in my new hole. Soon dug it out again. Night worked on hole. Saturday. Moved into new hall. Afternoon. Rained. New hall filled up with water. Moved back into old hall. Evening discovered more carrots, even more from the garden. Never knew there were so many carrots in the world. Carrots delicious. Night finished carrots. Slept. Sunday. Morning. Oop. Slept. Afternoon. Slept. Evening slept. Night was offered carrots at the back door. Decided carrots were boring. Chewed a few things. Didn't like any of them. Demanded something other than carrots. Received bowl of oats. Eight oats. Monday morning, Ooh, slept, afternoon, felt energetic, <laughs> wet thing slept against my nose on my way to the back door. rid of them. Demanded oats and carrots. Only had to bang large metal object for a short time so it appeared. <laughs> Evening have decided that Humans are easily trained and make good pets. Night dug new hole.
To be closer to them. Slept. I love that story. Isn't that a great story? <laughs> you know, when you're when you're older and you, you haven't read a children's story for a while and you read it at first, mm -hmm. and then every time you read it, you fall in love with it. Or I bet mm -hmm. everybody out there has a favorite story. Mm -hmm. Or two or five or 20. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, but there's only one diary of a wombat because there's only one mothball. Michelle, was, was mothball behaving herself during the story? Oh. I mean, in in the story, not so much. <laughs> Over on this end, we were doing all right, weren't we, Mothball? Oh, we were a little ornery. You are very mischievous, though. Yeah. Or as they might say in Australia, cheeky. <laughs> oh, cheeky. Oh, we got great words. That segues into our thoughts for the next, well, another story time in the future because we, oh my gosh, we run out of time so quickly. I always mm -hmm. feel like, you know, I'm so glad we had this time, but oh, it's gone mm -hmm. already. Well, almost. Mm -hmm. one more thing, right? Well, you know, maybe word. there's maybe we uh, have uh, some time for the chorus of a song that we know that features mm -hmm. a lot of cool Australian words and even a couple of animals. And Nancy, uh, you know this one, don't you? Well, I didn't this know it song. until we started doing story time. A home among the gum trees. I would love to go to Australia. Mm -hmm. So many neat things there. So we can sing this chorus, and then next time we can maybe sing the whole song and learn more about Australia. It's such a neat place, very different from Wisconsin. Yeah, it's just like we can't all be together in person. It's no. fun to use our imagination and take a little trip to Australia. And I, as I understand it, this song has some motions. And uh, yeah. with We've Nancy, changed. with your music, and Michelle, <laughs> with your cool motions, we can at least yes. what do you think that is? and move to the chorus of this song, which features some cool things from Australia. It doesn't have any wombats in it, but there's an Australian animal. Oh, I see. As you might know. Yep. We've got a kangaroo, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Little arms to the side. Yeah. Nancy, what did you see? Some sheep? Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Should we try the song? Are you are you game? Are you up for singing? Sure. Okay. Yeah, let's um, do, let's is, do this, it twice this. through so they can see the actions and learn some of the words at least, yeah, if not that. more. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. Veranda. That's a veranda. Yes, it's a kind of a flat porch. Let's, let's give it a go. See in go. Australia. Give me a home among the gum trees with lots of plum trees a sheep or two a kangaroo a clothesline out the back veranda out the front and an old rocking chair cool and i do have a youtube video out there with the whole song if they want to practice between now and then but let's sing it again do we have time yeah, yes, let's yes. do it one more time. Did you okay. guys get the actions to that? A home. We've got gum trees, plum trees, a sheep or two, a kangaroo, a clothesline out the back, a veranda in the front, and an old rocking chair. Some of those words might seem real unusual today, but we will definitely explain all of those next time we get together. There's a lot to unpack in this really cool song. Cool. One more time. Ah. <laughs> Gotta press play. Give me a home among the gum trees with lots of plum trees. A sheep or two, a kangaroo, a clothesline out the back, a van, a brand out the front, and an old rocking chair. That's going to be 
cool. I can't wait to try Vegemite. Where can I get Vegemite? <laughs> Maybe try World Market. Ooh, I think that's where I, local. Yeah, and I think that's where I got uh, my my local Vegemite. But I think that's I, my assignment to try some Vegemite. Yeah. Well, Unfortunately, that's all we have time for today. Unless Miss Kathy or Miss uh, Nancy, Kathleen and Nancy, you have anything else before we head out? That was just so much fun. Yeah. And I know there more fun things in store. And even though we couldn't be all together in a program in person, it was so cool for us to get together this way through uh, computers and imagination and take a little trip to Australia. And next time we'll learn more about it. Down under. Yes. <laughs> all right, friends. Thank you for tuning in. We will see you next time. Bye. So long, everybody. Thank mm -hmm. you.